so when you guys are using these spray paints first thing is you have to shake them a lot because there's a lot of pigment in them so you have to shake them for almost two minutes otherwise they come out like silly string so if it comes out like silly string put the cap back on and shake it some more there's no caps on them the color is from the shoulder so in order to make it work you have to take the top off remove that ring do not lose that ring put it in your pocket or somewhere safe because you need it back when you're done and then once you remove that ring it will actually spray so when you're spraying you do not want to get it thick and heavy you want to be working in light bursts I would say I don't know four to six inches from the paper And the first layer you're going to do is all background. So I want you guys to play with it, mixing colors. And I want you to play with background stencils, preferably stencils you make on your own, but they can also be stencils that I have for you, because the background will look plain and boring. If there's no texture in it, So you can make one stencil and you can move it to different areas. You can make your own stencils. And move them around. is all about playing with the background and coming up with ideas for things you can do back there and I kind of like the effect it gets when you get you know multiple layers of background I could even go further with this and play with another layer and I'd start getting sharp layers and I'd start getting softer layers and things like that, if I want to keep going. With that. So, after I get the background layer, ideally, you want to let it wait a day before you do the first layer of your stencil. Now, the first layer of the stencil is going to be the silhouette layer. It's going to go right on top of the background. I got to remember too that I don't want overspray, so I am going to cover any part that I don't want paint to get onto for this layer.
And again, I do not want to get gloppy with my paint. Light layers, and that's already a little bit kind of gloppy there. I'm take this part off now. And then I want to let this dry till the next day. All right, so theoretically you would like to get a day for it to dry and then you can place your second layer on top. Once again, making sure that you mask the outside edges that you don't want to catch pigments. all that up. I think I'm going to choose what color did I want to do this. I think I wanted to do the green. Uh, uh, uh. I'm do this green. You can see how that turns out. Short first, I am not like holding the spray paint down, the nozzle down. I would rather build up soft layers of pigment. Then just blast it. And once again, ideally, you will wait until the third day to put down your final stencil. And this one, if you're just doing two layers, you're done here. But if you want that extra level of detail, you have to be really careful with that third layer and make sure you're lining it up where you want it to be. Mine is kind of sticking because I did it all today, which is, again, not first choice. I don't want my last layer to be black. it a little bit because I did it when it was wet and I should not have done that. You guys are not going to do that. But take a look at these stencils laid out so you can see them. The first layer once again was just the silhouette. The second layer was all of the sort of the the gray and the black. Ah! Don't. And the third layer was finer detail. 